So just quickly before we get into this video and before most of you skip to the end to see the players ignoring my hard work and effort that went into this video, I just want to quickly remind you that my new internet will be installed this week so hopefully I'll be able to start uploading and streaming gameplay this weekend. Also for the small percentage of you that live in Hull, Yorkshire or surrounding areas, a gaming arena is opening in my hometown of Hull at the game store in Prospect Centre so if you can you should definitely check it out as it opens up later this week. Anyway I don't have much time so I've got to get this edited and quickly uploaded so let's get straight in to my predictions. Oh but just quickly in the comments below let me know who you think will get an inform in this week's team of the week and also of course if you could leave a like on the video that would be very very much appreciated. So let's get into my predictions and we're going to start off with Rufier of Saint Etienne who made 89 saves in a 1-0 win for his side. He also got man of the match and a 9 on Le Keep so I'm pretty confident that this inform will indeed happen. The first defender this week is Christensen, who I believe is on loan from Chelsea. I'm not too sure, but I think he is. He got himself a goal in a 1-0 win for his team. The next defender is Roger, who also got himself a goal in a 1-0 win, but he actually scored the only goal in a 1-0 win against Leipzig, who were at the time unbeaten. So he's helped hand Leipzig their first loss in the Bundesliga. And um, yeah, one goal and a clean sheet for this man should be enough to see him get an inform. Jordi Alba got himself two assists in a 3-0 win for Barcelona and that should be enough to see him get a very, very good looking inform. Moving on to the midfield, we have Ibora who got himself a hat-trick in a 3-0 win for his team. One of the goals was a penalty but um, that's not going to affect him. He's going to get an inform and it's going to be a pretty good one. Not the best pace but his defensive and physical attributes will be brilliant. Marcelo Brozovic got himself two goals in a 2-0 win for Inter Milan and that should be enough to see him get himself a second in form and a very, very good looking well-rounded card. Felipe Anderson got himself two assists this past week. He got two assists in a 2-1 win for Lazio. Thomas Muller got himself a goal and an assist in a 5-0 win for Bayern Munich. Um, Lewandowski also got two goals in that game so he could get an in form but I'm going to go for a second in form. Thomas Muller. Carlos Tevez got two goals and an assist in a 4-2 win for Boca Juniors. This game was against River Plate, so as most of you will know, that is a big, big derby match. And uh, because of that, I definitely expect Tevez to be getting an inform this week. Moving on now to another striker who I'm also confident will get an inform this week. Jamie Vardy got a hat-trick in a 4-2 win for Leicester against Manchester City. Jamie Vardy's normal card in Ultimate Team is just incredible, so this inform is going to be absolutely brilliant. The final player in my starting 11 is Mertens, who got himself a hat-trick in a 5-0 win for Napoli. Now, I know currently he has got a card out in the team of the group stage, but um, I don't know why. I just think he's going to get an inform as well. So, uh, yeah, look out for that. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below. Will Mertens get an inform this week or not? Let me know your thoughts. Anyway, that is my prediction for the starting 11. Let's get on to the bench and reserves. We're going to start off with Stefan Fry, who I think is either going to get an inform or maybe a hero card or maybe some other kind of special card. So uh, the MLS playoffs concluded this past week and uh, Seattle Sounders won. They won on penalties and Fry saved the penalty in the penalty shootout. And um, yeah, just because of that, I have a feeling that he's going to get himself a special card. So uh, yeah, look out for that and let me know your thoughts on that in the comments. Just in case you were wondering, Seattle beat Toronto in the final on penalties and the final result was 5-4. The full-time score was 0-0, so they went to penalties and yeah, I'm rambling on, but you guys get the picture. Anyway, let's move on to Matos, who got himself two goals in a 3-0 win for his team. Two goals from a wing-back should be enough to see him get an inform. Although you never know because EA do like to ignore some of the lesser leagues. One player I'm sure won't be ignored this week is Ola Toivonen, who got himself a hat-trick in a 3-2 win for Toulouse. And if you just ignore the pace, like just cover that up a little bit, this is a brilliant silver card and that shooting will be insane. Yasin is up next, he got himself a hat-trick in a 3-1 win for Galatasaray and once again a very, very good potential silver inform. Next up is a Polish winger called Piotr, uh, well, just Peter, I guess, in English. Um, he got himself three goals in a 4-3 win for his team. 
Moving on now to Vilena, who got himself a goal and an assist in a 4-0 win for Feyenoord against AZ Alkmaar. Borussia of Melbourne victory got himself a hat-trick in a 3-0 win and then we come on to the goals again We've got Chesney who saved the penalty in a 1-0 win for Roma obviously kept a clean sheet as well So um, yeah, hopefully this inform does indeed happen that was a 1-0 win for Roma against AC Milan Moving on to Holobas who got two goals in a win for Watford where they won 3-2 I do want to point out that Okaka Chuka could also get the inform and most likely will, but I just wanted to go for Holobas because this would be a brilliant, well-rounded inform if it did indeed happen. Anyway, moving on to Mana Triggerus, another one that's a bit of a punt to be honest. Um, he got one goal in uh, Villarreal's 3-0 win against Atletico Madrid. Dwight Gale got himself a hat-trick and an assist in a 4-0 win for Newcastle, and this is going to be a very, very nice second in form. The final player in my starting 11 is Falcao. Now I know I've had him in my predictions in previous weeks and he's been ignored multiple times. This week he got himself a hat-trick, one of the goals was a penalty but that shouldn't cost him. Three goals in a 4-0 win for Falcao and uh, yeah hopefully in form Falcao will finally happen this week. Anyway guys those are my predictions for this week's team of the week. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully I'll have uploads out for you this weekend with some gameplay on. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll speak to you then. So guys, thanks for watching. And as always, I will catch you in the next one.